Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with my review of Witchcraft 3, The Kiss of Death. As I continue my 16-stop journey through the Witchcraft franchise, I've arrived at Witchcraft 3. Witchcraft 3, The Kiss of Death, was released in 1991 and continues the story of William Spanner. Will was a newborn baby in the original Witchcraft film, a teenager in Witchcraft 2, The Temptress, and now in Witchcraft 3, he's an adult. He's also a defense attorney, currently working to defend a boy named Reuben, who has been accused of raping and murdering an older woman. Reuben and Reuben's mother claim he is innocent, and Reuben also claims he was in love with the victim, and the two were carrying on an affair. Reuben's mother even calls in the family reverend for some spiritual guidance. The reverend also happens to be an African witch doctor. On his way home to his girlfriend Charlotte, with whom he's been living for the last four years, Will stops at a bar and meets a man named Lewis. Lewis seems like a decent guy and the two men become friends. But what Will doesn't know is Lewis is an evil warlock. He preys on women, and when he kisses them, he steals their energy and their lives. It's the kiss of death. Women around the city keep turning up dead at the hands of, or should I say, the lips of Lewis. Lewis then transfers the energy to his witchy girlfriend, Roxy. When Lewis meets Will's girlfriend, Charlotte, he is immediately attracted to her, and Charlotte is attracted to him as well, because Lewis, as the evil warlock, also has the power to put any woman he wants under his spell. They become his own personal sex slaves. Pretty neat power, huh? When Will finally realizes what's happening, he, along with help from the witch doctor, must put a stop to Lewis's kiss of death. Charles Solomon Jr., who played Will in Witchcraft 2, reprises his role in this one. He has a tendency to underact, which I actually think works well. He's confident as the lead. Witchcraft 3 has more of a city setting than the first two, and I like it. It's super 90s, especially at the bar. It just looks like a 90s bar. It's interesting that this sequel focuses more on warlocks than witches, but again, I think it works. I always like to mention the nudity, because these films are known for the excessive amounts, but we haven't reached that point yet. There is some nudity here, however, including Lisa Toothman, who plays Charlotte, Will's girlfriend, and she has some huge t It's up to Will to save her. I really enjoyed this one, and I have to say I'm having a lot of fun making my way through this series. I hear it gets worse as the movies go on, but hey, for now... This is a good time. Check back soon for my review of Witchcraft 4, The Virgin Heart. But until then, what do you think of this one? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Be kind. Subscribe.